Welcome to Blue Helm Space News Brief. Today in 1960, the Secretary of the Interior Fred A. Seaton and the Secretary of the Army William M. Brucker announced that the U.S. Geological Survey had completed the first known photogeographical survey of the surface of the moon. The U.S. Air Force's X-37B autonomous space plane has won the 2019 Collier Trophy, awarded annually by the National Aeronautic Association for American Achievement in Aviation and Space. The NAA announced today, the NAA said the X-37B won for, quote, developing and employing the world's only reusable autonomous space plane which logged more than 2,800 days in orbit across five missions, changing access to space and serving as the nation's workhorse in space experimentation and technology, unquote. Brought to you by Southern California's Future Shredding. Purge or reoccurring shredding, commercial or residential. Future Shredding will make sure you're taken care of with their contactless on-site shredding. So visit their website at www.futureshredding.com or give them a call at 562-426-0557. Law, policy, and events. Quote, what we do is classified for a reason. It's because we're trying to get out in front of the threat, unquote, said Michael Roberts, director and program executive officer of the Space Rapid Capabilities Office today in a virtual forum. He also said declassifying space programs would make it easier for adversaries to get a leg up on the United States. Quote, if you unclassify to a certain point, you're no longer out in front of the threat. You're just trying as hard as you can to pace, and that's not where we want to be, unquote. For that reason, he said, it's unlikely that current level levels of secrecy will be loosened. Quote, I don't see that changing necessarily, unquote. The Space Rapid Capabilities Office, or Space RCO, was established by a congressional mandate in November 2018, based at the Kirkland Air Force Base in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The Space RCO has a budget of over $100 million to develop and acquire space technologies using special authorities. The reason we bring up the first part of the story is because senior leaders argue that there's an overclassification of national security space programs and that the policy should be revisited. Arion Space will use an Arion 5 ECA rocket to launch the Galaxy 30 communication satellite tomorrow the 14th. This is the second mission extension vehicle satellite servicing spacecraft in the BSAT 4B broadcasting payload. The mission, designated VA 253, will lift off from Guiana Space Center near Kourou, French. Guiana. Kind of a slow news week, um, or I'm just really early on the news and a lot of stuff will drop afterward. We'll be semi-slow with law and policy for the next month as Congress has taken a recess, but obviously we don't limit this just to the United States. We look all over the world for news and policy and for all the headlines. So keep tuning in. Um, quick heads up for anybody that owns crypto and listens to this podcast. Yeah, I was taken... I fell for a scam. It's an expensive lesson, but it's one we must learn. Don't trust those things. Anyway, everything's good. Everything's bright and sunny. My heart is overwhelmed with joy. Anyway, well, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter or Instagram at Blue Helm Co. Drink your water. I'll talk to you tomorrow.